Good morning, Britain's Kate Garraway. Uh, she's been hitting the headlines this weekend because she's been having an affair. Who'd have thought? Kate Garraway. But this is with her own husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this what you do with your audience? <laughs> so get them going. Concentrate's better than being at home. Come on. OK, let me explain, because Kate says that she did this experiment. This A French friend of hers told her that she had done. So she had to have sex with her husband for every day for 14 days. Come what may. Come what may, doesn't matter whether they're tired or busy what or what time they what get may? home. What does that mean? <laughs> But what, whatever time whatever of the day time and night. Of the day or right, night. Okay. In, in the supermarket. No. Wherever. You can't, you can't use any excuses, basically. Anyway, Kate said, very interestingly, she believes that this brought her and her husband, Derek, closer together and reignited the intimacy. So we're calling this scheduled sex. Oh. You know, when you schedule it. So oh, I bet God. you're so glad you stayed now. Uh, <laughs> Stacey, what do you think? Do you think it's a good idea to say, you know, come scheduled on, we need sex. to do it and do let's schedule I, it in? I always find that has got to be the worst sex because when you're actually planning it and thinking about it the likelihood is i don't know about you lot but it doesn't happen <laughs> you're speaking from experience i here. am <laughs> i remember the other night we were going to the brits and we, <laughs> and we, what? Were, we were really excited so i did who's we joe and i oh that's good uh, who else would it be jeremy come on join me after the break we'll find out <laughs> Because we, we had a hotel and we were like, oh, we're going to get a bit of alone time. So I did Why everything. Doing that? I don't know. <laughs> I washed, I shaved my legs, I went all out. <laughs> I did it all. I washed. <laughs> Sometimes I don't have time to wash. All right, get on with it. Listen, when a woman so, shaves her legs, you know she yeah. means business. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. And, and so I did radio that morning, then come back to the school run, got ready, did the Brits, got to the hotel and was like, I love you so much, but good night. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Because you'll, you'll know this from your show, because you're surrounded by all those experts. Don't... When people have sex problems, isn't the first thing that the expert says don't have sex for like well, I'm two the weeks. Expert at that one. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they say they say go back to the you know people end up. I mean I've done people on the show and they they're like we have sex five or six times a day. I can't even a day. Oh my no, god. Literally. <laughs> where do you get the time? It is about you're right though. That where does the intimacy go if it's if it's yeah. scheduled? It's like when people are trying yeah. to conceive that they have problems to conceive. It's like come on get home. You know it's the right mm. time. That's not romantic, is it? No, it's not it doesn't feel work. like it's got to be spontaneous. You should have yeah. actually had sex in the car on the way to the Brits. <laughs> Kieran, yeah, well, like with Kieran, he's the opposite. He wanted it all the time in the beginning. And obviously, he did what he did. He had a sex addiction, so they reprogrammed. <laughs> Shut up. That's true. They reprogrammed his brain, so we couldn't <laughs> have sex <laughs> for eight weeks. Was only allowed to hold hands, not even kiss. So now he's not on my case all the time. <laughs> so I mean, let me ask thing. you, ladies, uh, something. You wanted me here. I'm going to ask you oh, no. all. Oh, oh here we go. Do you worried now? This isn't from me, Kieran. If you're watching, do you want? Do, do you find oh. yourselves suggesting to your man to have sex, or do you find that that your men suggest sex more often than not? We'll start with Stacey um. Solomon. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you we're... suggest... Just get to the point. You're no, we're, we're, not, we're both really emotional yeah. about sex, so it's not like a... What, you cry, Julie? No. <laughs> it's an emotional thing. It's not some... It's something that we both have to be in the right frame right. of J Jane? mind for. Uh, swings and roundabouts. <laughs> that sounds exciting. There's a woman who has sex in public places. <laughs> I, I feel really... I feel like I can't ask... I can't ask Ruth, because Uncle Eamon's my hero and my absolute... I love you know, him. I might say something that would embarrass you no, and I, him. No, I wouldn't... I would never... I, I, I love... Oh, what? Right. what does that sound like? <laughs> I'm just trying to get myself out of the situation. Katie, honestly, you or Kieran, is it joint...? It depends what's on telly. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Everyone's different, yeah. isn't it? Spontaneous yeah. is best. I don't, well, what about you, Jeremy? I don't know. Go on. I get excited as a pattern on the kitchen roll. <laughs> it won't be happening tonight in my house because the Kyle files are on. Oh, oh what a great Oh, I love you. Eight o'clock? Yeah, eight o'clock. Is that right? Yeah, but that's not Wait. the time. Is that when you name and go to bed? <laughs> Who says you have to be in bed, Jeremy? Yes, exactly. Yeah. That is it for today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Jeremy. Thank you. Yeah.